All right, let's try this again. So I want you guys to welcome Katie to the team, to the call. Most, most of you guys know she's a member of the team. Um, she is one of Doug and I's personally sponsored coaches. And she started coaching about a year and a half ago. Um, she definitely started for the discount when I asked Katie her commitment level. We joke about this all the time. She told me it was a two out of 10. And obviously, if you know Katie, you know she has taken this business to a whole other level. Um, she is a diamond coach, and she had, I'll call it the privilege, although I know how difficult it was, um, of being in the core de force. Um, test group with some other pretty amazing coaches. I actually am physically in that group even though I can't participate and I've seen so many guys and girls just like rocking this program and um, Katie's going to talk to us about how to rock a product launch. She's going to tell us all about Core to Force and how it can truly change your business. So Katie, go for all it. All right. So um, as we are going along, please, guys, write down um, any questions you might have. Um, the couple calls that I've done so far with some other teams, um, there's been some really great questions. Um, and if you don't ask it, my guess is that somebody else probably has it in their mind. Um, so please do that. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So give me one moment. All right. And can everybody see that? Just give me a little thumbs up, make sure you can see that. All right, so I am so excited, first of all, to be sharing with you guys, um, specifically because this is our team, and I so believe um, in how this product is just changing lives. Um, and I can go into a little bit of those logistics um, as we go on. Um, as Jillian had noted, I was given the amazing opportunity to audition um, for the Court of Force test group. Um, there is a nomination that gets put out for a couple of people who have potential. Um, and my hat, my, my name was picked out of a hat. Um, and I had the chance to audition. It was the craziest week of my life. <laughs> and I was freaking out because I wasn't allowed to tell anybody. And I was screaming at my husband and he didn't understand why I was so excited. Um, and then I was um, chosen by, I was chosen, and unfortunately, about two days later was the day that um, Jillian had her accident. Um, and it was really heartbreaking for me um, because she was supposed to be in this group with us. But I'm not going to lie, that was a good driving force behind this program. Um, I've had some pretty rough couple of months, um, and I will share a little bit more about that since then. And I think um, having Jillian being as part of the group but not being able to do what we the, we as the rest of the test participants were there was definitely a driving factor um, in a way that said hey I'm not willing to give up I'm gonna do go, I'm gonna go all in on this um, so we were given the opportunity to dive all in and guys this program is legit um, I cannot begin to gush enough about how it's changing lives I am gonna preface this by saying and some of you know my story um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, known as PCOS. PCOS is um, a hormonal imbalance that happens in a good chunk of women, and it ranges all over the place, but in, in infertility, it's one of the leading causes of infertility, as well as um, significant abdominal weight gain um, and the inability to lose weight around your core. And I don't know about you, but that sounds kind of ironic since I was thrown into core day force. Um, and so I walked into this going, well, let's see what this does. And guys, it has met and well exceeded my expectations. Um, and it really, I think, has launched me to a whole different level um, in our coaching business, but also just in my own personal business. So let's talk a little bit about what is core to force. Um, some things that you need to know. Um, every workout is broken down into roughly three minute rounds and it's very much like a boxing match. Um, you know, you're going to alternate between boxing, kickboxing, that's pronounced Muay Thai, um, inspired combinations. There's jujitsu that we're throwing ourselves on the floor. The only down thing, downfall that I've seen of any of this program was the previews make you think it's just kickboxing. And I can tell you there is so much more than kickboxing in this uh, program. You are on the floor, you're up the floor, you're down, up and around, you're jumping, you're kicking, you're doing all of it. What you're seeing though is a 360 degree core workout that's gonna truly tighten every section of your mid. And I will explain 
sometimes core doesn't necessarily mean your abs. Um, you'll see in my pictures on a little bit later on that the biggest transformation for me has been my back. Um, and it literally the rolls have just melted away, which has been really exciting. So my rolls aren't hanging out of my bathing suit anymore. Um, so you're looking at mixed martial arts and you are doing three minute rounds. And really what you're looking at is high interval training. Um, you, you bring it up, they spike you, they bring you back down, and then you have a 30 second rest. Um, and it's great because you know that you just have to get through that round before there's a break. You can towel off and grab your water. Let's talk a little bit about the trainers. Um, they are the new, uh, or I guess the, uh, the newest super um, trainers for Team Beachbody, besides uh, the new Megan who just got announced today. Um, so Joel Freeman and uh, Jericho McMatthews, who used to be Jer Jericho McDavid, um, had a relationship as friends and co-trainers um, with the Les Mills program. They were lead super trainers through Les Mills, so they'd go around and do all of their program, um, but they had had a relationship with Beachbody, and um, as their time with Les Mills started to dwindle out, they've been working together with Beachbody now for about a year and a half. Um, some things I would, I strongly encourage everybody, go and join the Joel Freeman Fitness um, Group page. Joel is probably one of the most personal trainers I have ever met. He is legit. He will literally post on some of my Facebook posts. I'm like, what super trainer does that? I know when he had heard about what had happened to Jillian, like he messaged her and was like, hey, I'm so bummed to hear what this happened. I want to let you know we're thinking about you. Like, who does that? Like, what superhero trainer comes out and does that? Um, one of the things I love about Joel and in this group is he is super strong and has no flexibility. Um, he says the word bum about six, seven times throughout the workout. His humor is hysterical, and unlike Sagi, you can understand him because he actually speaks English. Um, he will make you laugh a lot. He does put his little, like, quirkiness in it. And one of the things I love about having him as part of our group and what you're going to see in the workouts is you see him working his tail off with you and the times that he has to, like, run off stage to go grab a sip of water. And there's times that he is like, all right, I'm going to modify. And you see that he actually modifies mid-workout. Um, his limitations are he has no flexibility and it's hysterical. So he always partners up with the modifier when they're doing stretches or when they're doing kicks because he just can't do it. Jericho McMatthews, um, her maiden name was McDavid. Um, she was just recently married. Um, great thing to know about this is she had had a baby three months before taping. Um, and you will note in a lot of the workouts, her clothes cover her postpartum. She does not look like Autumn out there with, you know, racked abs forever. Um, and she talks about the fact of, I'm working on my six-pack. Come on, ladies. Let's do it. Get on your toes. Let's work on it together. And I think that's really important to show that our super trainers have their limitations. At the same time, they are going to motivate you more than I think any of the other trainers I've ever seen. Um, they push you. In the end, they're yelling at you. And you're like, you just want to, like, take something out and, like, knock somebody in the nose. So it's a great program. They are going to be motivating you. And I strongly encourage you to start to get to know them on social media because they actually have a very good presence in helping out coaches in this business. Um, the nutrition plan is probably the biggest thing that I want to address about um, how Core to Force works. Um, they, as noted, they are going to be coming with the containers, except for the base plan. Um, the basic uh, one is like for typically if coaches just buy the base kit, you're just going to get the DVDs. You won't be getting the containers with it. But the eating plan is probably 60% of how Core to Force works. I need to emphasize, and I'll emphasize it again, this is not 21-day fix. You are not sticking to one meal plan and then just going. Every single week, something different happens. Week one, you start at your baseline. And in your baseline, they actually want you to kind of play around with it. For example, a lot of people were in their plan A. Those were your 130, 125 pounders. Um, and they were finding at the end of week one, they were exhausted. And our, the nutrition experts, as far as the group, told everybody that was finding that they were exhausted and they just didn't have the energy. They wanted to bump them up a plan. And that shocked everyone because a lot of these women had never been at a plan A before. And they were all very, very nervous about that idea. So things to note, if, you're, if your 
customers are complaining that they're tired, that they're absolutely famished, encourage them to move up a plan. If they're in plan D and they don't have a plan to move up, then you want to add a red or you'll want to add a green in the process because that's going to help their body continue to gain energy. In week two, they're going to start to increase the intensity of the workouts. And because of that, they add have everybody, excuse me, um, increase by adding a fruit to your diet. What you are doing there is you're confusing your metabolism. Your body is now going to start fighting because it doesn't like the fact that something is attacking it. And so it's going to fight anything it can do by holding on to all excess fat. So we trick our metabolism by saying, well, let me give you a little bit more sugar and a little bit more carbs. That ultimately is boiled down into your fruit. Now, week three, we start to double up on workouts. You're going to see that there's 45-minute workouts mixed up with a 15 to a 5-minute workout. And at that point, and like no other program, you get to add a blue. Yay! Cheese and avocado for a whole week. Our entire group literally all week long was like, I got the cheese, I got the avocado. It's very, there was much rejoicing over the blue. Um, it comes with a price. I give you fair warning. Um, that week, again, we're confusing our metabolism. We're, we're kicking up the burning fuel of the fat with adding that carbs and the sugar so that your metabolism starts to react. And so that when you hit plan, or excuse me, week four, you take them away. And then your body goes, ah, and it attacks everything. And that's where you start to see amazing results in like the last four days. Um, and it was incredible to watch. Please make sure your customers are eating every single one of their containers. I cannot encourage you that enough. There are times that people are like, oh my gosh, sometimes it feels like it's so much food. They are going to see more results when they eat their containers. If they're still hungry, like I said, first of all, drink all the water too. Make sure your liquids are getting in. Um, if you're still finding they're, they're hungry, add a green. If they're still hungry, add a red. Um, and just tell them to modify day to day as, as needed. Now, supplements. These guys are essential to this program. Now, I will be honest. When I first came into this program, I thought the performance slide was a load of crack. Um, my brother is a professional athlete. Um, I'm actually wearing the company right now, the sweatshirt that he gave me. Um, and he works in the industry of performance line for elite athletes. And I've just been so ingrained by him that nothing else works besides his company, right? So I came in extremely skeptical. And then day two, I couldn't move. <laughs> and um, the, literally, that's my picture of like, I was on the floor and I was like, I can't do it. Um, and so they strongly encouraged us to do the performance line throughout this process. Now, they don't say to do it every single day for every single product, and I can walk through that a little bit, but you will find that your body is going to respond to the fullest potential by adding these supplements in here. The more research that I did, the more studying that I did, realized this stuff is legit. Um, and they say, for those people who have like a Shakeology um, Dietary restrictions, say they're allergic to pomegranate. I have a customer who can't drink Shago because of pomegranate. This is a supplement that's going to help add the nutritional value into your body and how it responds to the workouts that you do. For me, I have done Energize every single day. Um, the beta uh, the beta alodyne, I can't pronounce it, is the stuff that makes the tingles happen. There is natural caffeine based out of green tea and the... Um, outer shell of a coffee bean, it's actually not the processed part of the coffee bean, um, is going to help you get your workout on. The, if you're looking for our longer workouts, um, the hydration is very important. I didn't use the hydration as much simply because I found that the workouts that I did, um, I was able to supplement fine enough with just water. But for me as a fitness instructor, um, I use the hydrate every single day that I teach because it helps me bring back the, um, the essential sodium that I've lost in a workout. If you find you are a mass sweater, eyeballs soaked and hurting by the end of workout, then I would recommend the hydrate because the sodium level would need to replenish for your body. Recover. That was probably my biggest skeptic. Um, it is not as considered a red container. They say it's a freebie. 
Um, you want to use it anytime you have a workout longer than 45 minutes. The guys in our group who are some of the creators behind the performance line said, you know, the only downfall to um, the way we do things in beach bodies, you know, we sell, sell, sell. He said, this is really only supposed to be if you're killing out a workout 45 minutes or longer. Or if you're going like, let's say you're doing an insanity max 30 and you are going balls to the walls out, then they say recover would be okay. But if you're not going 100% on your workout, then don't bother with recover until you've hit that 45 minute mark. Recover is going to help rebuild muscles, regenerate, um, and break up the lactic acid in. Then there's my favorite, the vanilla recharge. Um, we jokingly called it unicorn blood because we don't know what magical elements are in it. Um, some people are not a big fan of the flavor, but this it, I use every time I get to the bottom of a flight of stairs. I look up and say, I can't make it. I turn right back around, I head to the kitchen, and I will use this. And the next morning, your body feels amazing. Um, there is some, again, magical creatures happen in the middle of the night. Um, we, had a, we had a little study on it at one point. I still don't necessarily understand how it works, but it breaks down um, the atrophy and the ATP inside your body, and the next morning you feel much better. Creatine, not necessary for this um, because it is not a weightlifting program per se. You do use your body weight, but they say it's not necessary needed. What's the deal with modification? I want to introduce you to your new best friend. This is Jess. Um, actually, Jess has a great Instagram, and she is so personable. Um, Jess is also a master trainer for Pio and Turbo Kick, so she understands it. What I love about Jess is she's a real girl with a real body. I think she's a size 12 right now, um, and she's been doing core to force with us and trying to get herself down to a 10, and she hasn't been in a 10 in um, years, she said. So that's her own personal goal. Here's some things that I strongly recommend, and you need to know this about your customers. Um, modification is going to be imperative when you start this. Some people have already said, oh my gosh, I don't know what I want to do. it. I'm not coordinated enough. That is okay. This program isn't meant to be for the person who's coordinated. Every time you do an MMA workout, which is a mixed martial arts, they have a learn it and a work it video. Watch it. Take those five minutes and learn the move. What you are going to find is that as you modify and slow things down, you're going to get a better core development than you are if you try to just arms wailing everywhere and you look like an octopus trying to dance. So take it, slow it down, and do the movements. You're also going to see that if you modify and perfect the modification, your body's going to get better results than if you try to do a half on your toes, but you're really trying to do it because you want to prove it to yourself. I have always found that when you're pushing yourself, do like two or three, I'm going to push myself and I'm going to try to do what they do on the video, and then go back to modifying. Modify it to perfection so that your body is getting the results. Um, the other thing that I will point out is I was sick for two or three of the days. My body just shut down. Um, I had been going about eight weeks in a row with no rest. And what I did was I made sure that I still did my workout, but everything was at about a 16th pace of what everybody was doing. I just walked through it, and it was like yoga MMA Marshall and the reason I did that was because I was still working my muscles I was letting the muscle memory still go through the movements and it also actually helped me stretch things out I felt much much better because sweating it out does help you when you are sick um, but I still was able to get through most of those workouts um, when I was sick and I was still seeing um, some major improvements from it now, we in the test group have been, we're now into round three. This is a 30-day program, but you will find that you can keep going with this. There's some amazing pictures of the original test group um, on the Core de Force page who have been going 120 days, and they're, my gosh, it's just amazing of how, what they've been doing in their um, achievements in their body transformation. And you'll find the more that you do it, the harder you work and the faster you work and the more you sweat. You would think, oh, I'm losing weight. Look what I'm doing. Huzzah. This is going to be easy. It gets harder. And that's what's great about this workout is the fitter you get, the harder it gets. And so you're going to continue to see body transformation. Now, this is where I really want people to understand as they're prepping, even for you as coaches, because I've heard some people being a little bit hesitant about it. This is not 21 day fix. 
You are not coming in in 30 minutes and getting your workout in and out and then you're done. You are going to be ranging from anywhere between 26 minutes and 46 minutes on single workouts. Second, by the time you hit this end of second week and into the third and fourth, you're going to be doing doubles where you'll add a five to a 16 minute workout to your regime. Mentally, you want to start budgeting yourself an hour to do this whole workout. Now, before you freak out, I want you to keep in mind what I would say to my customers and what I would say to you. An average time when you go to the gym and back, you're going to drive to the gym, find a parking space, let's say 15 minutes if you live close by. You walk um, from the car to check in, head to class to find the right machines, your spot, anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. You get to the class, the class is anywhere between 30 and 55 minutes. Then when you leave, you remember, you have to remember where you parked, check Facebook, because we all know that when we go to the gym, we check in, because if we don't get credit for it, then nobody will know. And then you're going to drive home. On average, most people spend anywhere between an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and 50 minutes going to the gym. If you add children to the mix, that typically is almost doubled in time. I work at a gym. I know this. I'm not making this up. So as you are prepping people, help them remember that though you're mentally prepping for an hour, it is saving exponentially amount of time of what they would be doing if they were investing in going to a gym, going to a fitness facility, um, and just taking time for themselves. All right, so we'll continue on with that. Um, what do I need for this program? You basically need nothing. They actually emphasize that for those who used to do the combat in the back, they don't want you using the weighted gloves because that's going to be counterintuitive to what we are doing in the workout. I use the mat simply because my floors aren't that great. Um, and there's a couple of things that my butt gets sore on. Um, and if those of you who are on the uh, who did Success Club, I just got my yoga mat today. How exciting. Um, so if not, you'll probably get yours tomorrow. Um, so just a basic yoga mat is all I use. Um, and you don't even necessarily need that. The grill, so the good news is you don't need that much space. Um, kind of a little corner of the room. Just enough. You want to measure out enough to do a push-up. If you can do a push-up in the spot, then you're able to do this program. Now, let's talk about some results and trusting the process. Um, I had mentioned in the beginning of this call how the there was a lot of the girls who were in that test A group were freaking out because people were telling them to jump up to B, and they were so nervous because they had always been an A. Well, they trusted the process. Around week three, they started freaking out because they saw bloating or their fingers were swelling, and that was what's naturally happening. You have to reiterate, trust the process. Just keep trusting the process. Follow every single step. And on week four, it was like night and day for transformation. Um, you can even see as I'm posting in some of these pictures the difference between day one and day 15. Um, I think I'm, that's the one I'm most proud about is my back picture between day one and day 15. And then if you compare that to where day 30 is, and I actually only have day 50 up here. I uh, forgot to upload the day 60 picture. Um, but you can see that amazing transformation starts happening around the end of that third week into that fourth week is when you're going to see results. So your job as a coach is to truly coach your group along. In yourself, remind, always write down to trust the process. Eat your food, drink plenty of water, shake go every day. If you do those four things, I promise you, you will succeed in this program. Let me reiterate, I have PCOS, and PCOS is supposed to be impossible to lose weight around your core. Well, I don't know about you, but my results have shocked me. Right now, I'm down 18 pounds and, and 22 and a half inches altogether around my body. And these past three weeks have been very, very stressful. And I would say I probably was only on the diet or the nutrition plan about 90%. There were some times that I just mentally gave up. And I still lost 18 pounds and 22 and a half inches in 60 days. This last um, month, I'm really trying to go gung-ho to finish out. I am 12 pounds away from being in the 100s. And I haven't been in the 100s since I was 18 taking diet pills and almost passing out because they made me so unhealthy. And I cannot begin to tell you how exciting that makes me that I might be into the 100s for the first time since college. So we're getting there. Baby goals. Wonderland's on the way. So let's take a look at some of these results. I post pictures. These are the 30-day results. Some of the guys in this group have blown me away. 
I post specifically some of our older guys. Um, if you look over into the top right corner, that gentleman over there, um, he has been a coach for years with the industry. Um, and he's let himself go recently. So he, this was his chance to start coming back. His day 60 is just amazing. Um, and the guy in the far right left corner, Jeremy, he's a hoot. Um, he, has, he started out extremely depressed. Um, and his smile has just grown every single day as he's seeing these. We take a look at our day 60 results. And what you're starting to, to find is more and more definitions in legs, rear end, um, and upper body. So the core gets hit first in those first 30 days. And then the rest of the 60 days, you're starting to see upper body definition and things that you were not expecting to see. For me, a huge result I have noticed is I have arm strength again. I had surgery in February and have been very, very flappy in my little chicken wing. And I am pumped to feel that I'm getting muscles again. Um, and I'm able to do a push-up. I've never been able to do that before, which is very exciting. So let's go. I'm going to break out of um, our team mode for a second. Let me stop my share so we can go back into the group setting. Um, so that's basically my presentation, and I would love to hear any questions that you guys might have um, about anything that I can help you with on this program. And you'll have to unmute yourself because I you are all muted at the moment. Yeah, if you guys have questions, ask them. I have something that I want to say, but I'll let you guys go first. Sure. Anyone? No? I do have questions. Hang on one second. Great. Um, I'm looking at my post-it notes to see which ones I marked off that you answered for me. <laughs> um, I, I guess my first question is, um, Bonnie Engel went live the other day on her page, but it was, I don't know, it was weird. And she started to talk about the calendar because everyone at leadership already got the program. And she showed that there's like three different optional calendars for workouts. Can you explain that? They did a modification so that if you wanted to do it with um, Beachbody On Demand and their challenge du jour, you could mix it up a little bit. Um, so there's like a 30-day program and they add um, another calendar because the workouts we haven't had a chance to sample are the 2.0s. They taped about an additional. That will come in the deluxe kit. And by the way, everybody from corporate continues to tell us as a coach, it's worth buying the deluxe kit. Um, even if you buy it and then digitally, um, you'll get the digital unlock and then, you know, give it away or sell the program or whatever. Um, you will get the latter. Um, you'll get more containers, you need containers everywhere, all the containers. Um, but then you'll have a whole bunch of extra DVDs um, with the additional workouts that I haven't even tried yet. Because so there'll be this something with the speed ladder. So I have no idea where that's from yet. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, for the brackets, like you were saying that they're the same, is the calculation the same? Because I know like 21 Day Fix, you have this certain formula and then, was it? 22 minute or hammer and chisel like you were like put one put two put three put zero what was um, the calculation it, there is a calculation for it i found mine for both because i actually had to come down a bracket which i've never done before which was kind of exciting um my both my d and c brackets were 100 percent on with 21 day fix um so for me and you can you can mention this to your challengers i actually use 21 day fix app to track because if you, on the weeks that you have to add food, if you track an ad, it actually does like a negative, and that just reminds me, good, I've had my plus one fruit, or I've had my plus something. Um, so you can track it that way, and it actually allows you to keep an idea that I've had enough of my food. Okay. Um, was Is it rough on the knees just for people that have like knee problems? It's a great, um, their official answer from Team Beachbody is always consult with your doctor before starting any fitness program. Yes. Um, <laughs> I will say, um, I found that this was not exhausting on your joints um, because I have something going on with one of my feet and there's um, like my, my arches are kind of hurting me. So there's one movement that I can't do that I just, and I just modify it, which is fine. Um, but there's no pounding. You're not doing like surrenders. And even um, even the burpee style movement, there is this one horrible move called ground to fighter stance, is more of a belly flop. <laughs> like you land on your belly and you do this like inchworm thing to yeah. come up. And it's not nearly as painful as a normal burpee is. 
Um, so it's I do the workout from my wheelchair. So <laughs> sure, if yeah. people are worried about their knees, you can literally sit down. Like instead of doing like the kicks from the back, I just like sat in a chaired position and just like crunched up with my legs. So I, I would say so far out of all the workouts, it's the least painful on joints. I would totally agree. And like, it's so, so easy for me to modify. Like at one point my mother was like, did they like make this workout for you? And I was like, I sincerely doubt they knew I was going to buy a car and needed to work out in a wheelchair. But I just really, there's a lot you can do even if you have to like modify the modifier the way I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is just, just a question really to anyone. Um, I, I looked at the post briefly. Are they doing it with Shakeology or with the performance line or is it Shakeology only? Both. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. So the way they seem to be doing things is either they offer a kickstart or they offer it as a performance challenge pack. So like 21 Day Fix, Country Heat, Fix Extreme, um, Pio, Size, all come with kickstarts. Cameron Chisel, 22 Minute Hardcore, and Court of Force, could have, uh, <laughs> come with Chicology or Performance Line. I have yet to see a release of a program with a Kickstart Performance Line and Chicology. Yep. That was just, I haven't fully read it yet. Yeah, no, I just, I think that if it seems, I don't know, Katie, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like they're making a decision on which one makes more sense for the yeah. given program. They had mentioned a lot of stuff about leadership at the leadership conference. They had started to allude to the idea that they've seen a, um, some retention issues with Shakeology, and they are starting to be a little bit more creative with any of the high-intensity workouts by adding more performance lines as an option. Um, in the future and they definitely is going to be part of this because my gosh you do need it this is the first time I've really been like oh my gosh I need all the performance line and I just want to say for you guys like I I've never obviously I've never been in a test group before they were nice enough to physically leave me in the group even though I couldn't participate and I truly believe that the reason these people get such amazing results in these test groups is that they treat it like an opportunity instead of, you know, oh, I have to do this. And so I'm going to challenge each and every one of you to take your before pictures, take your before measurements, treat it like a job that you need to get these results. And every single week, I don't care if you check in with me or your coach or your group or whoever, take those pictures, take those measurements. Don't go on an eating binge. I don't want to see anything at the end of this program where people post their results and say, these are my results, but they could have been better, but I fell off the wagon with my eating. Like I see that so much, you guys. And like so much of our results is, is what you eat. And I know Christy's on this call, like she was struggling and we talked about it and she got on the countdown plan. And I know she's seen amazing results since then it makes such a huge difference what you're putting in your body. So I'm going to challenge you to treat it like that. And I'm going to challenge you to hold your challengers accountable and, um, not, I'm not going to say not be so nice, but really try to find challengers that want to get results and tell them, listen, like, I'm going to hold you accountable to get these results because I'm going to expect you to hold me accountable to get these results. Cause I know like if you really treat it like the test group treats the test group, you're going to see amazing results. You're going to be able to get amazing results for your challengers. You're going to believe in the products. They're probably going to end up joining us. I mean, the ripple effect that something like that can have on your team is amazing. And Beachbody has said they are not releasing a program in January or February this is it until probably July of 2017. So this is it until summit. We've got to like show that this product is a game changer for our business, which I believe it is, but it's our job to showcase that. Um, a couple of hints and we are heading into Thanksgiving and the holiday season. And actually Christy and I were talking about this today of, you know, people like, Oh, well, I just want to enjoy my cookies or whatever. Right. Well, I, I encourage you to strongly walk them through um, when are they going to pick their cheats. 
So for example, um, during this, the first sort of 60 days, if I found out that I was uh, twice, I like went to the Red Sox game and I knew that I was not going to be able to sneak food in as like I did at summit. Um, cause they actually look in the bag. <laughs> um, what did I have to do to plan accordingly? And so when I knew that there was going to be days that most likely I was not going to be able to eat a hundred percent to plan, I would make sure that none of my yellows were, were eating up until we get to the park. So that if I had the foot long hot dog or sausage, whatever, and I only ate half the roll, well, four of my carbs were there to take care of it. And so just work with your customers on thinking strategically about their week. All right, I know that I have a Christmas party coming up on whatever so day. So let's stick to that plan Monday through Thursday. On Friday, save all of your yellows until the end, until you're at your party. So that, no, they're not going to go wild, but in mentally in the back of their mind, they know at least I have my planned cheats ahead of time. Um, and then don't fall off the bandwagon. Start the next morning. Do not miss your workout. When I was doing this program, and I'm still doing it, I've been averaging 14-hour days at work. And I would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, take my Energize, work out by 5.30, and then I'd have to be work at 7 and not home until 10 o'clock that night. If I can do it, then you guys can do it. And if Jillian can do it sitting in her wheelchair, <laughs> working on her shape to butt cheek, then you guys can do it. And our, our, our <coughs> customers can too. The biggest thing that I strongly suggest is just don't let somebody come in and be like, oh, this is like a beginner program. I'm ready going to go. And they're going to feel very frustrated. Very frustrated, day. frustrated, frustrated. Day. So mo tell them to modify Brace them for that. For that. Yeah, I think yeah, that's, I think that's, why am I echoing? Why am I echoing? Let's hear that. Let's hear that. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. There, mute you for a second. Okay, I muted Sarah. There we go. So I think that that's the biggest difference between this and Country Heat that we just launched. Um, Country Heat, I feel like my grandma just turned 101 and she could probably do Country Heat and not feel defeated. And I think Country Heat got great results. We saw it get great results, but it is different than this program, right? Mm -hmm. And I think anyone can do this program also, but you have to be prepared to modify. Like I said, I did it from a wheelchair. And if, if you have anyone that is saying they can't do it, I'm happy to talk to them and explain to them how I modified. Um, but I'm, I'm serious, like it's, I want you to prepare these people that it's not going to be easy, but we're going to get you results. Mm -hmm. Like that's, I think the biggest message I think it's important to send to ourselves and our customers. And we are doing the week before this, we're doing a three day refresh group so that I really think that'll help people that are struggling with their nutrition, whether it's you or someone else kind of like clean out all the bad and say, okay, I'm starting fresh on the 14th. Like I timed that for you guys so that it makes sense. Um, and it will, it will help them going into a new workout program, a new eating plan. Um, I am sure that we will have quarter force meal plans. If we don't, I will make sure that we have them for our group. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, they will definitely, they will definitely be available for you. And she's yawning. <laughs> so anybody else have any other questions that I can help you guys with as you are prepping over the next two weeks for this thing to go like goes live Monday, which is exciting. I would be careful too about expecting people to order Monday. I'm just going to say that with Halloween. So if you guys are aiming for success club, don't, don't hold out on Monday, you know, but we, this next four days, we've got to be following up with all those maybes and no's um, because those challenge packs are changing price on Tuesday. So keep that in mind. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, I think we're good. Who's Anything doing else? this program? That's what I want to know. No one? Just me and Katie? <laughs> I plan to. This is Natasha. <laughs> no one else? I'm, I am. I'm doing it. Okay. I'm doing it right after Thanksgiving. Okay. 
Because 22 minute hardcore fit, you have to finish your program. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, Katie, I guess I have a question. Since I'm like, I'm running. So, like, I have one more race. Like, I'm probably going to do like a turkey trot. Like, should I just wait until after? I like, because I'm going to be like running like three or four miles a day. Like, um, do you have time to work out that much? Are you looking for like a 20 minute workout? I mean, I could make time. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have to, you know, carve it mentally, carve out an, an hour. And if you think you're ready for it, and then you're very fit. So I don't see why that would be an issue unless you're running this turkey trot for like time and like prestige, then I would say wait. You know, we had a couple people in the test group who were, it was supposed to run the Chicago Marathon, and they ended up putting it on hold because it was a big race for them, um, but, and they just deferred it for a year. But if it's just like a 5K or if it's yeah. just a no nonsense, then no, I think you're fine. Okay. I'm just, I would it's like not to stress on the joints, but yes, you will be sore. Everything will hurt. <laughs> And I will recommend to you guys that you get your program as soon as you can so that you can physically get it and spend some time advertising it like as other pe as the like the leader the people at leadership that have their programs probably have a waiting list for people that want it. So if you get it right away and you physically have it in your hands right away and you start it right away, um and talk about it right away, you're probably going to get a lot more people in our test group um, just because they're going to see you doing it and want to know what the heck is going on. And I don't know, Katie, do you know when um, they released the combat workout? Like that had to have been like four plus years ago. At least three. Um, I don't remember. It was back when they had the, the whole thing with the, um, Les Mills. And I know that hasn't been the case for at least three years. Yeah, no, I, you know, I was a customer first and I first did 21 day fix in February, 2014. And I, so I'm, it was, I swear it was like at least a year before that. But, yeah. um, my point is it's been a very long time since there was anything even remotely similar to this. And I feel like the popularity of MMA sport is rising. Yes. So, um, you know, if you have, especially like um, a market below people who are like 50 years old, this is going to be especially um, exciting for them. For sure. And guys, this is a huge market for guys. Yes. The other programs have been a little bit more female based, maybe 22 minute hardcore. No, but this one, um, I find that guys a have seen major results, but they like the boxing concept. You know, it's like title one boxing. So Yeah. Anything else? Everyone's been really quiet, I feel like. Christy, you've been quiet. What are you drinking over there? <laughs> My water, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just want to say, though, like, to hear you say that you're, like, 12 pounds away from being in the hundreds, that's crazy. That gave me the chills. Yes. I love that. That's, I'm so proud of you. When I met Jillian, I was 250. So, guys, this is, like... <laughs> <laughs> So this, it, this is legit. It was so funny. I was working out today at the Y and some guy walked in and was like, looked at my workout. He's like, Oh, beach body. And I was like, yeah, beach body. What's the problem with it? And then he looked at me. I was like, I'm 18 pounds and 22 and a half inches. What do you got a problem with that? And he was like, all judgy McJudginson because he's, he's our fitness director and he hates beach body. And I was like, ah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> legit guys, the program works. Follow it. Modify the daylights out of it. Never miss a day. No excuses. You will see major results. It's 30 days. It's not that hard. I'm not cheating with the exception of probably Thanksgiving. So um, if anyone wants to go all in with me, like, please let me know. And we will have to hold each other super accountable. I will be counting down the weeks until I can have avocado and cheese on the same day. Like, <laughs> I'll be like, or a whole avocado. Like, I can have, like. Yeah, don't you worry. I'm like, I actually saw that in the test group and I didn't know what they were talking about. And I was like, no, someone like doesn't know their calculations. That's whack. But then I found Freaking it. out. Everyone freaked out. My last day is like two days before Thanksgiving. You better believe I'm going all out on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. But I'm going to go right back. I think, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a fourth round of cord de force. I might go back to hammer and chisel and actually do that full on throttle. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. So let's like be talking about this all the time. You guys like no equipment is huge. Okay. So, you know, I think that that, so, so people spend a little bit more and they get Shakeology and the performance line maybe. Okay. But you don't have to buy a bench and weights and like, you know, there's, there's so much potential here. Um, and I bought some unicorn blood at Katie's <laughs> suggestion. Um, even though I don't love the way it tastes, I'll tell you that, but it's been really right now with my recovery, it's not the workouts that are keeping me sore. It's just life in general that I'm sore from. So it's been helping me a ton. I'm going to go have some after this call actually. And if you haven't played around with the supplements guys, I recommend it. Um, you know, if you're looking for a little PV to push you over the edge or you've got an inactive husband, just, just go buy a sample pack, um, or, you know, invest. I highly recommend, um, the recover or the recharge, um, and energize is now my crack. So, you know, <laughs> Um, you can buy the samples too to hand out to people because they come out in individual packs too. So try that. Yeah. One really cute thing a coach told me that they do is anyone that buys a challenge pack, they send them a sample of hydrate and energize, which was like unexpectedly, like they don't tell them they're sending them. They just send them like, thanks for buying a challenge pack and here's samples, which is awesome and a really good idea. So if you guys are looking for a cute little giveaway, I recommend that. Hydrate's really inexpensive too. Super inexpensive. And if you know anyone that loves Gatorade, this is so much better than Gatorade. Yes. So. All right. Hit me up, guys, if you have any questions. My unofficial last day is Friday. My official official last day is next Friday. Uh, so I'm going all out. Yeah. And, guys, if you haven't signed up for Super Saturday, get there. <laughs> um, I will be at two of them. So, and I'm speaking in two of them, which I think hopefully I won't like keel over and die. So, um, but I'll have my husband tape them in case I do keel over and die so y'all can laugh, but try and get there for real. Like so, so, so important for your business and so important to see that your, see your team for you to be there and people outside of your team to know that not everything is done on the internet, you know? So, all right. Thank you, Katie, for You're joining welcome. us. This was amazing. Um, would you mind uploading the slides to our team page? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You're gonna, you've recorded this, correct? So you'll put it up. Yeah, I'll put it up on YouTube and I'll post it as soon as it converts. Great. All um, right, thanks guys. Good night. Good night.